I am genuinely excited when it comes to talking about sizes and fitting for Doc Martens. So here's my answer to everything. If you love the shoe and it fits, wear it. If you love the boot and it fits, wear it. That's it. It's as simple as that. But when it comes to unisex and it comes to women's Doc Martens, there's different ways that if you have to tell what the difference is, uh, that you may want to know. So first of all, my opinion and my belief is that Doc Martens should just go back to how it was before and have one size, which is the UK size. You do the conversion and you figure it out. And if it fits, go. Otherwise, whatever. It just makes a lot more sense. I don't know about you guys, but I've had so many discussions and so many questions come up of what size something is. Uh, I would say eight out of 10 times when I buy, when I go to buy a pair of Doc Martens that are being resold on a US app or US site, I always have to confirm the site because eight out of 10 times it's wrong. So uh, this, this, is, this is hard. So, you know, it's like, what size is it? Oh, uh, it's a nine. Okay, is that a UK nine? Is that a woman's nine? Is, uh, US nine, is that a men's US nine? It's just, it's just too much. For those who uh, were watching this that are in the UK or in Europe with a very straight up sizing as well, you're probably laughing at this uh, and, and just how silly and complicated we make it here in the United States. So just bear with us. I have laid out four different styles that I own and love. We have what one that's currently available, which is a modern unisex made in England from the vintage collection Oxblood. One from last year. This is a modern made in Asia unisex tattoo collection, part of the tattoo collections. Then we have an anarchy in the UK ish uh, Union Jack that was available years ago as a Beckett canvas that was marketed to women. And then last we have the uh, Acid Smiley Hickeys, Hickeys, Hinkies, yeah, Acid Smiley in yellow, which is a woman's shoe. Right off the bat, all of these fit me. I would say that my collection, it just, it varies. If I love the shoe, I get it. I don't go inside. I have botanicals that I think I pull off quite well uh, 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 and that some would say are women's. I would definitely jump into a pink pair of Doc Martens. Uh, I, I don't believe that there's a such thing as a, a, a gender color. Uh, but that's, again, that's me. Uh, I, I, I don't like to get lost with, with, with these things. I go from uh, speaking from the heart. So that's it from on that side of my agenda or messaging. So when it comes to the last used on these, I would say that the last is slightly more narrow and slightly shorter on what they market as a woman's shoe. It is, but the difference, unless you have a very wide foot, it, 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 there really isn't much of a difference. Uh, so these, like I said, they fit me the same. But let's talk about some ways that you can tell visually that they were marketed as a unisex shoe or as a specifically woman's shoe. The first two I'm gonna compare is the Beckett versus the Beckett Canvas, Union Jack, Anarchy in the Union Jack, or Anarchy in the UK, versus the Made in England, modern Made in England's uh, that uh, you can get in the store now. So this is the first thing here pull tabs. You'll notice that the ones that are more marketed for women are smaller. Now this is not necessarily always a rule. I have ones that are unisex that have a smaller pull tab. 
specifically vintage ones. So it really depends on what they were doing for the branding at the time. And, and then maybe later on in the modern era of Doc Martens, which is the last 20 years, everything that's passed uh, them being saved from bankruptcy, they uh, decided to do this, which is a, it's, it's a good sign. It's a good, um, or not a good sign, but it's a good, it's a good way to differentiate the bigger pull tab and then the smaller pull tab. Let's talk about the other way to differentiate. So here is a size imprint on a modern made in England. Here is the size imprint on modern made in Asia with the grid. Here it is on the Beckett and how it doesn't have the men's size. And here it is on the Acid Smiley. And it doesn't have the men's size. I hope this helps. In conclusion, I just want to repeat what I said in the beginning. If the shoe fits and you love them, just wear them. Uh, I don't. I don't think there is a such thing as as specific women's, uh, and um, and and most of the sizes are are, are quite. Or most of the styles are quite neutral. Uh, if, if you think about it. Doc Martens is all-inclusive and, uh, and that is one of the many reasons that, that, that I love them and I, I continue to feed this obsession. So, hope you got something from this and uh, I'll see you next time. If you liked the video you just saw or wanted to add something to it, go ahead and uh, click on the like and the comment button uh, down below. Also, if you want to keep up with all the videos that I create, subscribe, and then once you subscribe, you can tap on the bell and then you'll receive an email. Uh, so you're always kind of in the know. I mean, you watched it, right? So I guess you liked it. You got to tell the, you know, algorithms what to show other people and what people are interested in. And besides that, I need validation. I need to know that I'm making something that people actually enjoy and want me to continue making more of, right? What do you think, Cherry? Yeah? Think they should do it? Yeah, she thinks so.